Hi, my name is Zach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to complete a blood transfusion. Um, so today, we have my physician's order here. I have Jerry R. Artrika, so that's J-E-R-R-Y-A-T-R-I-Q-U-E, the number 261-824-375. Fifty-two-year-old male, Dr. Ben Pierce, and today we're going to be giving one unit of packed red blood cells over two to three hours, and it's due now. So now that I've done that, I'll make sure the consent form is signed. It's been signed by the patient, um, as well as the witness. So I'm done with that. Next, I'll look at take a look at the patient demographic sheet. And what that is going to tell me is the name. So before I do these checks, I need to actually bring in a second nurse with me to uh, complete these checks with me just to make sure because this is a high risk procedure. So we have A-T-R-I-Q-U-E, A-T-R-I-Q-U-E, J-E-R-R-Y, J-E-R-R-Y. Finn is 261, 261. 824-824-375-375. Okay, good. I'm done with that. I can take the record to transfusion here. And actually take a look at my blood and compare it to the blood take to the ROT. So we have J-E-R-R-Y, J-E-R-R-Y, a-T-R-I-Q-U-E, A-T-R-I-Q-U-E, Finn is 261, 261, 824, 824, 375, 375, and he's AB positive, type and cross, AB positive, that's the patient's blood group. Okay, and today um, on the unit we have AB positive blood, AB positive blood, and these two are compatible, so it's safe to give. Okay, and the uh, the component is an expired as well. So now I can actually take a look at the blood itself and compare the blood take to the blood bag. Oh, do you know what? Um, on my uh, last check here from my ROT, to my blood take, I forgot the donation number, so I'll make sure to check that as well. So we have C0, C0510510, 0808900900445445, boxed Y, boxed Y. Okay, and now I'm ready to actually compare my blood take to my blood bag. So we have our donation number is C0. Uh, C0 510 510 0808 900 900 445 Boxed Y, boxed Y. And we have AB positive blood here. AB positive blood. Um, okay, cross matches and expired. And then um, AB positive, the patient's blood group is AB positive and this bag is AB positive. So then they're compatible to give. I'm giving red blood cells, it says on my bag here, the bag's not expired. Um, can then take a look at the contents of the bag. The integrity of the bag is maintained. There's no clots. It's been un it's unopened. Okay, blood looks good. So now what I can actually do before entering the room is prime my wine with normal saline actually. Um, so I need a bag of normal saline here. So I bring the contents with me, but I just need to go grab a bag.
So I grabbed a 50 ml bag of normal saline with me. I also have my second nurse here so I could get her to watch the contents while I went to go get that. What time am I at? Five minutes, 20 seconds. Okay. Lots of time. Okay, so now I got this wide, wide type blood transfusion set. Take a look at it here. Make sure this this clamp is closed here. This clamp on the side here. I'll just aseptically add. Let it run through here. Got some bubbles here, take care of those. sure it's primed up in the chamber enough. because the normal saline uh, amount doesn't really matter. You just want to make sure you get a nice prime tube here. Okay. Looks good here and I can actually lock off my normal saline here because I don't want that to actually run through. So now that I have that prepared, flush with me. I just need to go get a swab so I'll get my second nurse to stay here for a second. Got some swabs here. Okay, so now I can actually enter into the patient's room. And at this point I just need the blood bag to compare. So then walking into the patient's room I can do a quick safety check. Bed's in the lowest position. They're fairly comfortable right now. Just introduce myself. Hi, I'm Zach. I'm going to be your student nurse today. I just need to verify your identity before we get started here. So for my fourth check here, I actually need to compare the blood tag to the name, uh, the armband here. So we have J-E-R-R-Y, J-E-R-R-Y, A-T-R-I-Q-U-E, A-T-R-I-Q-U-E, is 261 261 824 824 375 375 and can you tell me your birthday okay it matches the armband do you have any allergies no okay good okay so now that I've done that I'll just keep my bag over here and talk to the patient a little bit so today we're gonna to be giving you a blood transfusion um, so you came back from surgery and you've lost quite a bit of uh, blood, so we need to replace those red blood cells. And so what we're going to do is hang um, a bag and attach it to your IV and let it transfuse inside of you. Have you ever had a transfusion reaction before in the past or a transfusion? Okay, no. So with this does come the risk of what's called a transfusion reaction. So sometimes when we give patients blood, their body re reacts negatively to it. And this can cause um, symptoms of like an allergic reaction. So please let me know if you're having a closed throat feeling, difficulty breathing, um, if you feel any pain or any sense of 
heightened anxiety, like there's a sense of impending doom. Um, any pain at all, just to let me know, or any itchiness is actually another symptom. Okay, and of course you have the right to refuse. Um, you do not have to have this treatment if you refuse it. And um, I will stay with you for the first 15 minutes of the transfusion. I'm gonna do a baseline set of vitals uh, to start you off, uh, just so we get a good baseline. And then after 15 minutes while I'm with you, I will do another set of vitals. And then I'm gonna be doing a set of vitals every hour until the transfusion is done. And once the transfusion is done, I'm gonna do another set of vitals. And then one hour after that, I'm gonna do another set of vitals. Okay, sounds good. All right, so the patient consented to the procedure. He understands the risks and the benefits of the procedure. Okay, so now, I am gonna take a look, uh, look at my IV equipment here. So the patient has uh, an IV here that's locked right now, but we'll make sure to flush that. And we also have an emergency line just in case of a transfusion reaction. And we have our pump here. And that works. So now what I can do I'm actually, I'll give this a flush first, just to make sure it's patent. So, I'll alcohol swab it for 30 seconds, let it dry for 15. need about two to three mls of flush here normal uh, normal ceiling okay good the IV is patent ready to go here what time am I at? 12.30. So I'll just aseptically touch the blood bank. Here. Good. This is locked off for now. All right. So I got to make sure this is locked off. The normal sailing line here. Make sure my line is all right here. prime my blood to me. Put in the drip chamber here. Then I'm just going to let it run until I completely see red in my line here. Trying to see it run down the line here. It's getting redder and redder. Just to keep in mind that I have my second nurse with me this entire time up to this point. Okay, now you do it just before the blood is at the end of the line. Now, what can I do is up there, I press primary, and I can actually open the IV. 
close that up. This is still locked for now. Now that it's in, I can open it. Make sure my blood clamp is open. My saline clamp is locked. And at first, I will label my line. Uh, I will label it. I can label it blood because I look through and I don't see RBC, but it's usually T U V. Yeah, okay, that's right. I will label it blood because that's what we are giving, anyways. And then my rate I'm going to start it off at 50 cc's per hour. For the first 15 minutes and then I'm going to change it after that the rate will be 197 I calculated based off but in the bag we have 358 mls and we have to run it over two to two and a half hours so I will change the rate after 15 minutes so I will be staying with the patient so I'll just change it then so in the bag we have 358 okay so I'll just confirm that Okay, so now I can just press start when I'm ready. And I will just alcohol swab the top here for 30 seconds, let it dry for 15. Okay, so then once I have that ready, I will tell them, okay, I'm gonna start the infusion now. Then I can watch for three drips in the chamber here. <clears throat> so far two then we'll get one and last one here three okay good so the line is infusing this line is open it's not locked off the IV site looks healthy are you feeling any of those symptoms we talked about yet okay good so then I'll stay with the patient for the first 15 minutes, do the vital sequence like I talked about. So um, I got my baseline done after 15 minutes, I'm staying with the patient, do another set of vitals, and then I'll change the rate to 197 like we talked about for the rest of the infusion. Then I'll do vital, vitals hourly. And then when the infusion's done, I will do another set of vitals. And then one hour after that, I'll do another set of vitals. Then all I need to do is document that the infusion has been started and get my uh, second nurse to co-sign.